look a little bit at how to uh, track a mask and remove an object. Last time we did uh, static stationary, um, how to remove something that's moving. So I have my clip here, we're in our timeline under the effects tab. The effect con controls open just like last time. And you'll see here this, let's watch this button right here. So you see that's moving. So a stationary mask that we had last time, this wouldn't work. So let's track this and let's remove it. Uh, this is what you can do if you have something in the screen in the background that's moving around or the camera's not you know, static or standing still and you need to remove something, maybe the microphone came through the top of the whatever. You can use this for anything that's moving. So what we want to do is what we did last time. Let's, I'm going to zoom in first so I can get a better look at... Ooh, that's a, that's a sweet shot. Um, go in and get a closer look at this button. Okay, then we're going to do what we did last time. So let's go here. We're going to hold down Alt-Option. Again, I'm on a Mac. We're going to rotate it up, slide it up, and voila. There you go. Drag and drop. We've got our copy. So let's go here. We're going to make the mask on the top layer. Let's click it. I like to draw. You can use the circle if you want, but drawing is kind of my thing. Boom. We've got it. Let's adjust that a little bit. Okay. So how do we track it? We're at this point. So here's mask. Underneath you'll see mask path. And with these two outside ones, you can track one frame at a time, which will take you forever. Or you can let the computer try to figure it out and click these two individual arrows. Since we're in the middle of the clip, you can track backwards. So from this point on back. And then here you can go forward with it with this other arrow. Now this is helpful uh, if you only need to track it halfway, like let's say this button at this point drops out of the frame. You don't really need to track it past this because it's gone. But for our purposes, it stays in frame. So let's start with um, let's start with going backwards. There we go. Pretty good. You can always adjust it after. Then let's move this forward. Let's see how it did. Pretty good job. Now we need to track it forward, right? Because we need this last half of this clip. Those are all keyframes where it tracked where that object was. Let's go forward now. Excellent. And then we can just adjust it. Let's check it. See how it did. Okay. Jumped up a little bit. Let's go through here. Okay. That is pretty good. Right here. It seemed to jump a little. You know, they're individual keyframes, so you're going to see it jump around. But as long as you get the majority, because we're going to expand that mask a little bit, uh, it's a finesse process. So we're here, right? And remember, we want to go down to our mask. We want to hit inverted. And then we want to go to the mask below. And this is where we're going to move. Right now, you're seeing the image below. We want to go up here to position. And let's move it and find something that looks a little better. That's pretty good. Let's see, you want to go a little further this way. Go up. See, right now I don't think anybody would be able to tell, to be honest. If you weren't looking for it, um, I think you'd probably not notice. Now you see this, this little gray? That just means the mask didn't quite go as deep as we wanted it to go. So let's go back. And this is where feathering and expansion still comes in play. Let's feather it a bit. Just make it a little softer on the edges and then expand it a little bit. So let's make it a little bit. See that? See the circle? So we want to get it just right so it covers that silver and boom. See how that looks? Wow. Okay. It is gone. Uh, let's fit. go back here and fit to the screen. And remember our button was right here. Our big bright button. And it is gone forever. So there you go guys. That's how you track. Uh, track and apply a mask to remove an object that's wiggling around in your frame. Thanks guys.